since I was a little girl, I wanted to be a missionary. And when I came to work for this hospital, I realized I could be a missionary every day of my life. A lot of times it's assumed that we basically treat sick people, and that's where our mission ends. And that can't be farther away from the truth of what we do here at White Memorial. God has blessed White Memorial immensely. We are here because God has a purpose for us. So we are trying to witness God's love, not only here in the hospital, in the community that we serve, but way beyond that. There's a tradition here called the blessing of the hand as a symbol that that person was called by God to work here at White Memorial to do a special task for the community, for the people who come to this hospital. The hospital from its inception was there to take care of people, regardless of their ability to pay. We see people that are homeless, people with behavioral health challenges, and we also see gang members from different gangs here in the area as well. It doesn't matter who you are. We have programs that we connect them with. The beautiful part about uh, our job is that, you know, we meet a lot of people of all kinds of different faiths. So we're rounding, going through the floors, visiting patients, knocking on doors. We need to prepare the, the pastors to be able to be pastors, not only for their own religious background, but also for people that have uh, another belief. Chaplaincy was, uh, to me, one of the ultimate and best ways to, to show Jesus to other people. One of our efforts here is to help the next generation live a healthier lifestyle. Food insecurity is very real, especially in our neighborhood. Our goal is not just to provide food, but to provide healthy foods. One example is our food pantry, which was started by a physician who felt there was a need to feed her patients who are food insecure. Another program we have implemented is the weekly farmer's market for the community members who cannot afford to purchase organic, non-pesticide produce. We partner with churches to do health fairs. And we have different stations where people can learn different things about their health, and not just physical, but also spiritual. We also partner with a mission here just down the street. Um, once a month, we head down there with a group of associates, and we have the opportunity to cook a full meal together. Dolores' mission is a homeless shelter, and we'll never forget what one of the, the residents of the shelter, he told me, thank you, Pastor, for the food that you provide. It's the best. But I really appreciate the fact that you sat with us, ate with us, and listened to us. We are there to show God's love in every encounter that we have. Recently, Adventist Health White Memorial has acquired Beverly Hospital, which is now Adventist Health Montebello. This hospital was going under. And if this hospital had gone under, there'll be no medical care in the community of Montebello. Part of our job there uh, is to establish the kind of health care that we provide here. And our emphasis on spiritual care, I think, is going to do amazing things for, for that hospital. This hospital specifically is dedicated to serving our community. It's dedicated to not only serving the people here, but we'll go on mission trips like Mexico and the Philippines and Africa. And we're dedicated to serving. At Adventist LOI Memorial, we are very intentional when it comes to doing mission trips. When we go work with another country or culture, we first want to know why they do what they do and where we might help. Our goal is not just to be in and out. We want to establish relationships so that we were able to continue the care for them, not just once, but for a long time. Sometimes, one of the surprising things that I've seen, community members said, I don't want to see a doctor, I want to see a pastor. We show them God, that He cares for them, that He's there with them. And when I see that, that fulfills my heart. With the success of all the medical missions that we did since 2013, it became now a part of our hospital mission. Understanding that we're here to be a, a blessing not only to our community, but also abroad, uh, that's what keeps our hospital moving forward and dreaming and doing more. What we were here to do is go way beyond treating the physical ailment of the human being. We're here to treat the whole human being and to give hope to people too. We do that because Jesus told us to share His love, 
to be a witness wherever we go.